Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hem. And I'm Kelly Doll 409. And I almost forgot to do the intro again, but <laughs> not quite as bad as last time. Um, so we are waiting for the Nintendo Direct. Uh, a couple of items of interest leaked here, and if one of them is true, I'm gonna go fucking nuts. Uh, I don't know what leaked. Also, we're watching the, uh, the UK one yeah. today, so... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't think the voiceover is different. It would be kind of funny if it was. Has been a British accent. Yes. Now, um, I don't know what's gonna be here. I'm hoping to see more of Pikmin Four because I think they just kind of like announced that and had like a five second clip of like a pre rendered environmental um, bulb, like area. Bulb orb. Bulb orb. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you just said. Yeah. <laughs> they had that. I'm expecting we're gonna get like some final trailer for Zelda also, because that's gonna come Apparently, out. Apparently, like... Zelda has like an entry on the eShop, so it's gonna be coming okay. soon. Well, I mean, no, I know it's releasing on my birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it has an entry on the eShop yeah. with a price. But this is probably the last yeah. E3 before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, uh, obligatory, uh, Prime, Prime trilogy, Prime four. Mother 3, uh, other shit that's not gonna happen. Yes. Um, I've seen people say we're gonna get a Fire Emblem remake, but it's way too soon. Oh, Advanced Wars is probably gonna be it. Yeah, another. Advanced Wars is gonna be the thing. That's another leak that I had heard about. Yeah, apparently. See, I don't even know if that was a leak so much as, like, Like an people, error? Like, I know, got, I know like, interns don't send out emails. To, no, no comments. The intern Kuhn had fucked up and sent some people a promo yeah, for Advance Wars. Yeah, there was, Advanced like, a promo Wars. for Advance Wars and it said something like releasing on the 10th. Yeah. So that would kind of line up with this. That would, yeah, that would, that would, that would match. That would line up. So, like, I don't know. But yeah, I don't think intelligence but... systems is going to go, oh, here, by the way, here, we're working on FE4. F fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think so. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Got Kirby last year. Uh, um, I think Return to Return to Dreamland just came out. Or, like, it's about to come out. Huh? You don't remember Return to Return to Dreamland? No. No, they're remaking the, the, the Wii game. Oh! With my son, boy? Yes. <gasps> yes. If you, if you, if you I love says. Magalore. Um... But yeah, there's that, so I don't expect anything new. Uh, probably more Mario Kart DLC. Uh, t t t uh, I don't know. To, to add to the pile of shit that's not going to be here, uh, F-Zero. <laughs> Zero. Uh, <laughs> Star Fox. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Bullshit that's not going to be yeah, here. Yeah, no. Uh, Peggy 16. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Donkey Kong, maybe? COVID-19 still? Come on! I mean, COVID's see, not over, over, See, no, but... the funniest thing is, like, no, it's not over, but, like... Oh, you can turn that one a little bit, I think. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're, we're living in such a, like, low COVID area. Oh, that, except, like, like, if you're in America, I guess. Oh, it is Pikmin 4. <gasps> Yay! This opening with Pikmin 4, of course. Assuming that's what this is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course it is. I mean, it could just have been game what looks a lot like Pikmin 4. Are we just, like, on Earth? We've always just kind of been on Earth. Oh, oh, have we? Oh. Yeah, that's kind of the... Kind oh, of the oh, they're not... Oh, I thought... Oh. Oh, no, are those baby Snagrits? They're kind of cute. They're but, <laughs> but the Snagrits are fucking evil, so I hate them. <laughs> You can't kill the Snaggard babies. I kind of don't want to. They were super cute. Oh, that's... Not a character we recognize? No, I don't think that's the girl from uh, Pikmin 3. No. So, I Red know. Pikmin. Oh, are we going to get new Pikmin? Well, we probably are. We always get at least, like... Two new Pikmin. We've so far we've always gotten two new ones since the first game. We had four rounds, so. Well, sure looks like Pikmin. <laughs> I mean that in the in the most positive way. Oh yeah, of course. It's not like you know it's something like a first person shooter or anything. Yeah, no. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Okay, so how are they doing? Are they just the equivalent to the rock? Uh, Oh, they can freeze, okay. Oh, cool. And they can freeze water? Nice. Oh. I don't 
that's pretty cool. Get it because ice? Oh, what's this? What is it? It's a dog? It's a dog. It's, it's Poochie. It's Poochie. Oh my god. Oh, also, I think okay. they just had like two different characters there, also, which like. Oh, Ochi. What, like Pochi oh, what? and Oat? Colin. Oh, that's a. Uh, um, oh, isn't that the legs. final boss of Pippin too? Uh, it looks. It, no, it looks. Uh, it's a specific like subtype of boss. Well, there's just the queen. Yeah. Can't, can't, can't not have that. Oh, do we have, uh, the... Oh, do we have, uh, Pikmin 2-style dungeons again? Oh, I guess. I guess so. Okay, so I see three player characters. I guess only one new type of Pikmin so far. I'm assuming because no... the dog is, like, you know, another yeah. new thing. No word on, like, um... Whether or not we're gonna have rock-winged purple or white. Oh! Oh no! Uh oh! Oh no! I don't like that. Oh, July. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hello. Do they normally dub him in American? Oh, I guess so. In the UK, they're like, oh fuck it. Oh fuck it. What's the subtitle? Like the dog. <laughs> I also noticed that uh, the ice pick one have yellow flowers. Yes. This new hero is a real gem. Introducing Volume Three of the Xenoblade oh. Chronicles oh, Three sure. Expansion okay. Pass DLC. Lapidarist extraordinaire. Hey, what now? Say hello to Masha, the newest hero and a refined lapidarist. She can use special ore to craft accessories that can bestow various effects. See, this is the fun thing about, like, not keeping up with certain games. I'm like, oh, that's that still has DLC going for it? I, like, I didn't even know. Wow, okay. For every win, you learn more heroes and special abilities. Rack up victories with your heroes and set your sights on the final stage. I mean, that's cool. Also. You might also get special in-game outfits as a reward. And coming in volume four later this year. Oh, so they're not even done. Oh, that's a big spoiler for one. Ah, uh, I think it's. I think. I think this is spoilers. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, do you want me to like mute it? Or yeah, I think so. It? Okay. Well, I think. I think this is spoilers. Okay, I don't want to well, look. I don't want to say it. Uh, oh well, that was already. Three that was it already. That was okay. it already. Nintendo Switch, February 16th. Cause Xenoblade is—I mean, it's been a fucking decade. They have every right to spoil me at this point. But like, come on, the games take a decade to play. Yes. Move to the beat in a brand new Samba de Amigo game. I mean, I didn't know what the fuck I was looking at. Grab your Joy-Con so. controllers and gently shake them like maracas to match the target. Gently. The song. If you shake them any more than gently, Follow it the does not count. On yes. screen to pose and dance. <laughs> But the unexpected might happen, so stay on your toes. Why not dance with a friend to predict your compatibility in Love Checker? <laughs> Make sure to show up in style, too. Speaking of rhythm games, uh, how about, how about uh, Rhythm Hat? It's the been like scores in each round will be half eliminated. a decade. Yes, I would love another Rhythm Heaven place. game. The, the Rhythm Heaven. And the Switch has now. songs yeah. are included, spanning a multitude of genres from around the world. So grab those oh, what's the fucking, uh, the fucking surf and bird dance? <laughs> well, a bird, bird, bird. You'll never, you'll never guess what we've been watching. We've watched all of Family Guy, more or less. We're in the final yes. season. Got a passion for and yes, we you actually, know I do. <laughs> we, we actually liked it all the way through. <laughs> this is the place to glam it up and express yourself. Here, you'll aim to become a stylish influencer. And you're in luck. That tons of people are seeking. That has got to be trends. the worst fucking word I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. I hope to never hear it again. Style. Or suggest new outfits for them to grow as an influencer. 
Now it's time for fashion design. Dress up. Choose from over 1,000 design options. Then add a personal touch to give your item a final flourish. You can get the items other people are wearing by liking them. Mix and which is your which is to how we assume clothes are acquired in real life. <laughs> by connecting online, you can expand your friend circle and grow your brand. I like how some characters are clearly taller than other characters, but that doesn't seem to have any effect on like where your character is yeah. <laughs> So it looks a little silly. That looks fun. It looks fun. We would make fun of it. It looks fun. Delve into these dark worlds. Dracula's castle beckons in this new oh. paid DLC for the Rogue Light Action oh. platform. Oh. Dead cells. Oh. I had no idea what's what, okay. Well, I mean, I, I knew it was Castlevania. Belmont, I thought it was like and some sort of like leading up to a showdown with death and Dracula himself. Wield the vampire killer and other iconic weapons as you vanquish legions of monsters in frenetic combat. 12 original covers and 51 songs from the Castlevania series accompany you during your quest in Dead Cells. Return to Castlevania, sinking its teeth into Nintendo Switch March 6th. I thought it was some sort of like, Nintendo like, eShop uh, shortly after yeah. this presentation. Enter a new grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uncover dangerous truths and retrieve what was a lost Tron as you navigate through a perilous game. world. Huh. Your decisions and the alliances you forge will impact your journey and the entire server. Tron Identity launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this April. Okay. Who's there? Wait, is that... Well, that can't be good. Oh, this is a uh, uh, oh! ghost trick returns in HD. After that's cool. The oh, that's cool. And becoming a ghost, I've always heard that that was like a good. Uh, yeah, that's a game that I've been meaning to make you play. Yes, game. Yes. That, like, like this I never woman touched. and change any ill-fated uh fates. Ghost trick, Phantom Detective, spirits on to Nintendo Switch this summer. Cool. Okay. okay. Two connected worlds, one suspenseful thriller. I like how I feel like I recognize some of these Japanese voices, despite yeah. me not knowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just thinking that. I'm like, is it just because it's just. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting turn based combat. <laughs> ハーバードがカラフルネコちゃんになってる。何が起こった誰かがデータに置き換えたんだ。警察のシステムに潜入し、プログラムを書き換えた。それって完全に犯罪だぞ。これが犯罪だと。この狂った街では集団を選んではい
They'll need to work together in battle as well. Seresa cannot attack and can only no, knowing that Cheshire series, I can't be sure that it is a enemies. Hold an enemy in place while Cheshire attacks, or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. Strategically use each character's abilities to huh. win battles. Okay. The duo will gain strength as they continue their journey. By obtaining more powers, new paths can be opened and battles can be more easily swayed in your favor. Can Cereza and Cheshire find their happily ever after? Bayonetta Origins, Cereza okay. and the Lost Demon prowls well, we onto Nintendo play three, Switch but... March 17th. We still need to play two, actually. Oh, yeah, you're right. Available now on Nintendo I mean, I don't see why not. We like Bayonetta. Yeah. Okay. I did look at it. <clears throat> Splat Tim, which we need to play. We missed yeah. the last two Splat Oh, are they gonna announce the uh, DLC? Yeah, I think that's what this is. Yeah. Cool. The uh, Nocto expansion. <laughs> New playable class? Oh, it's just uh, the, the area from the first game. Oh! Oh my god, it is! Slash second game. Oh my god. Introducing the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. The first wave is Inkopolis. Make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon your stomping ground. Oh no, ground. 2 is a different town. 1, 2, and 3 are all different towns. Oh, they're all different? Yeah. I thought the first two Oh my god, we haven't seen these guys since the first game. Gear. Oh my god. You might spot a few familiar faces alongside new shopkeepers. Aww. Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville, so shop wherever your vibes are strongest. Salmon Run. Table Turf Battle. The Shoal. And amiibo hey, wait a minute. Some of those work in the same the way game. here too. Is that the second game one? The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. Need a mix of old school and freshness? Then head over to Inkopolis. Well, what colors will they have? I guess just the first two? Or just their own well, colors. Well, just whatever's matching the uh, DLC launches this Oh, spring. oh, like that? Mm -hmm. The first? Oh. I don't know. I guess just like whatever. I forget what the town from 2 is called. It's like Ink... Ink... Um, oh, what's this? I don't know. Oh, it's like coral. Okay. Like, you know how dead yeah, coral yeah. turns white? Oh? It's a new hairstyle, at least, I think. I mean, or it's one of the hairs from the second game. Oh, is it Agent 8? No. Side order. Cool. Okay. Okay. Wave 1, Inkopolis, launches this spring. Wave 2, Side Order, will launch in the future. So, basically, one is one is the new story mode, and the other one is just kind of like the a... The Splatoon 3 expansion like a pass visual... will be available on Nintendo Yeah, you can just Shops play in the town from the first game. Okay. I mean, that's still pretty neat. I mean, that yeah, that's still pretty neat, but I'm like... I feel like they're kind of like... I feel like you should probably have just made them both one. Yeah, thing. I don't know. Because, like, one compared to the other is a little underwhelming. Yeah. Because it's cool, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's cool. But again, that's like... That's like if Mario Kart said, like... It's like, oh, here's the uh, here's all the new courses, and uh, 
We'll do them in two waves. Uh, one has Mini one mouse. set of courses, Dog and Dog. one has the other seven. Hey, yeah. Goofy. Like, Embark on a new adventure to find three magical books and save the mysterious island of Mana. Run, Kingdom Hearts. jump, and swing to explore every nook and cranny of the island. By unlocking special abilities, you can reach new places and find secret areas. I do like how that cross large cut chasms scene, with boost jump, round pound like barriers to open looks new just like it was like and is glide through the air yes. to reach distant platforms and hidden areas. Each character's personality shines through in their actions. Up to four pals locally can oh, break oh, the it's, island. Um... Share a hug for extra help. Aww. Play leapfrog for larger jumps, or drop a rope to lend a hand. We're not together uh, to save Mono, and you might discover like new paths. Like... While exploring the island, you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. There's been other games that have like study their movements carefully to figure out the secrets. It's to like victory. it's a platform and it has like four distinct characters. Yeah. Like... Join Mickey and friends on a high flying adventure in Disney Illusion Island, swinging onto Nintendo Switch July 28th. Pre orders begin on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Awesome. More emblems are on the way. New oh. emblems are coming uh, to future Veronica, packs of the way. Fire yes. Emblem Engage Expansion Pass. Pack 2 includes Hector, Emblem of Strength. Raise defense and unleash counterattacks. I mean, he just wants emblem CYL, so. I, I bet that as uh, Emblem of Autism. <laughs> Oh, well. <gasps> emblem of revelation. Modify the terrain. This is the best DLC ever. <laughs> Pack three includes Crom and Robin, emblem of bonds. Overwhelmed foes. I like how it's uh, packed her by attacks. himself, by the way. Veronica, emblem of heroes. I like how that's just her design now, which I'm not necessarily Summon complaining. Allies to fight for your cause. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> Challenge new <laughs> to recruit these that's new cute. emblems. And in pack four, a new story called Belzinalog will be unlocked. Thank you for answering our prayers. Again, we have not played the game, so uh, I don't know if we should do this again and just not really pay that much attention. Yeah, it's I don't know like, what the hell I'm looking at. Okay, Fire okay. Emblem Engage over. Expansion Pass Thankfully, launches on Nintendo they make these, Switch like, shortly the after this presentation. How long are these? Is this like 40 minutes or is it like half? 40 minutes, I think. Take control of your destiny. This is Reverie, a world in which deities known as aspirations dwell. When a megacorp endangers the harmony between Reverie and our world, the future of humanity hangs in the balance. In this narrative adventure, harness your divine gift of clairvoyance to travel between worlds. See the future and decide humanity's fate. Many branching story paths, along with a riveting soundtrack by Celeste composer Lena Rain, set the stage for your journey. Eventually, you'll side with one of the six aspirations like Bond, Power, or Chaos to change the story's outcome. To which destiny do you aspire? Harmony, The Fall of Reverie, launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this June. I don't mean I don't mean I don't mean it in this way, but it's like our visual novel selling point is that it has different endings. I'm like, yeah, okay. Octopath Traveler 2 is Oh my god, that's coming out on the 24th. Shortly after this presentation, a demo containing the game's record, I'm not trying to just back in. I just think that that's funny. Oh no, I know. I I get what you're trying to say. Eight new stories await. Which path will you take first? Who will your allies be? And where will your journey lead you? Venture through a brand new world in Octopath Traveler 2, launching on Nintendo Switch February 24th. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Run around and collect oodles of objects Balls. in this remaster of We Love Katamari. Balls. Roll in a classroom. Didn't they already release that? No, they released a different game. Space? Oh. 
wasn't it? New yeah. features no, it wasn't really playing as the think. young king of all I mean, I don't know what the... What, New challenges. Is this just a different game? It's a different game, yeah. I thought it was a single game. I didn't know it was like a, like a multiple game. Oh, yeah, no, it was a series. We love oh, okay. Katamari Reroll uh, plus Mario yeah. Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch oh, no, June 2nd. Because I don't In know anything addition, about it. In addition, active than... Nintendo Switch Balls. online members can play a free game trial of Katamari Damashi Reroll. <gasps> Cool. Combine the powers of the sun and moon to fend off evil in this turn-based RPG. Hi, it's uh, Mario RPG. traverse a breathtaking world, meet characters from all walks of life, and devastate foes with timed attacks in battle. <laughs> what are you giggling at? <laughs> no, I just like, no, he was, he was kind of slow on his delivery there, so I just thought he was going to say, meet characters, and I'm like, and I'm like yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, the like, delivery was a little awkward. I'm like, these August selling points are getting kind of. A free demo will launch on Nintendo eShop shortly after. We're really stretching for 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 things to say. Duke no, okay, no, I was too. Free to play quick. online multiplayer showdown. I was too quick. Form two teams of three and challenge others to lightning fast battles. Is that a giant air hockey hunter? style. Uh, Use each striker's yes. skills to dominate each match. Change the course trajectory from afar. Block areas to gain the advantage. Hey, did you like the uh, kickball mini game in Banjo Tooie? Because I hope you did. Moves. If you want to <laughs> play this game, to Nintendo Switch, April twenty seventh. Pre-orders for this free-to-play game begin on Nintendo eShop shortly after this. Wait, why would you need to pre-order a free-to-play game? Dive back into the sprawling labyrinth. A collection of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Oh, I wish Many I could be excited about that. Within a massive labyrinth, its paths are intertwined, and vicious monsters um, lurk in the shadows. Why can't you? Phase a artist. Map is your only oh. guy. That's the that's the main artist for this oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. The map as you explore, okay. Don't you Google that. Even okay. further. No, I know what you're. Yeah. Venture into the labyrinth with five adventurers. As the guild leader, you'll assign them roles like the ally defending protector or the ultra fast dark hunter. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Because I know these games are super, battle, super fun, and I even own one. Uh, and I got, to I didn't get far in it because the navigating the dungeons is like a nightmare. That's the point, but it's a nightmare. Hmm. 24 newly drawn character illustrations are included. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options and a new like auto picnic. mapping function for smoother exploration. Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection. This difficulty feels like Nintendo a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Each True. game in the collection will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Pre orders begin on Nintendo eShop mm -hmm. shortly after this presentation. I guess if you really don't want. I'm like thinking, like, why would you want to buy them separately? I guess if you really, really don't want ready. the other games, like. Yeah. Also, there's Advance there's Wars. There's Advance Wars. All Thank bands. God. I, just, Wars, I was convinced this game was never going to come out. Away. Join Andy. A couple of months away? Are you sure? And more in two full story campaigns, each one filled with colorful turn based tactical action. Flex your strategic Isn't it muscles like, you know, a multitude of wasn't modes. it already done Design last year? Your own maps and share them with friends. Plus, go head to head in local and online play. She's cute. Advance Wars yeah. 1 plus 2. Oh, April 21st. Comes to Nintendo oh. Switch, April well, you said in just a couple months. Like, I don't think so. Well, okay, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, two months by definition is technically a couple months, but. There we go. Return to Return to Dreamland. That's In what I was Kirby's saying. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Magalore. Magalore, the interdimensional traveler from the main adventure, has lost his powers and must Good. escape the realm between dimensions. Oh no! You say, you say oh no, but like oh no, I know he's a hell creature. I know all that. he can do okay. now is a basic attack and jump. Oh, to regain Magalore's God, powers, pathetic. you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. With magic points, different abilities oh, so it's, can be restored uh, uh, and enhanced. Meta nightmare, but with uh, improve him as Magalore's main levitation or increase his attack range. The order in which you restore his powers is up to you. There are over oh, 20 interdimensional They made this mode for me specifically.
up to four players on the same console can venture through this mysterious <laughs> up to, up to realm four Magalors. Four of them. Four of them. Can Magalore restore his powers and safely return to his world? You can access this new epilogue after clearing story mode. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You can't really do that from the start. After today's Nintendo Direct, a demo will be available on Nintendo eShop. Hey, do you want to play Up the to demo? Four <laughs> players can play a specially arranged demo oh, with select stages. I was hoping you would games. bite, and I would just say, like, yeah, Kirby's I have the demo. It's called the, the game. <laughs> it's called the Wii game. game. Oh, it's also coming out on the 24th. Well, I know we're getting each other for our anniversary gift. Nintendo e -shop. What was the other thing coming out on the 24th? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, Octopath 2. I can wait on that. Again, again, Kirby, Kirby's return to return to Dreamland. <laughs> Banjo Tooie, come on, let's go. Banjo Tooie, Banjo Tooie, Banjo Tooie. Oh, we're also still getting Pokemon Stadium, I think. I think so. Uh, is that Are we getting Game Boy games on the oh. Switch? Oh, cute! Game Boy games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online. Mm -hmm. On Nintendo Switch, you can play these games anytime, anywhere, just like you could back in the day. That's for you. Let's introduce the games that will be available at launch. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetraminos and aim for a high score. Aim for chicks. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Reclaim not the, the, not the original Mario, Mario stole just from Mario Land 2. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening Jump. DX. Awaken yeah. the wind fish. I mean, it's always been Cola there. Diamond. Oh, yeah. Change Dark Direction Oil's is supposed quest. to be. Uh, Save the Ghoul Realm as Firebrand from the Ghost and Goblin oh. series. They just ended up Gallery being. Um, playing a sort of game do, watch do, titles. Do, do, do. Sorry. Yes. No, they just ended up being used Alone in, um, in the Dark, Mario 3 before. The New Nightmare. Solve a murder mystery uh, on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid okay. 2, okay. Return of Samus. Like Destroy Metroid the Metroids hiding on planet SR388. Wario Land 3. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that bit of Metroid. It's all the Metroid right now. <laughs> Not in my Kirby's name, Dreamland. Mama. Float, inhale, and spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. You can use the Game Boy. Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Color Screen Filters. Oh, cute! Up to two players can play compatible games together locally or online. More games will be added in the future. Pokemon trading, no, card, Pokemon game. trading card game, but no, you're not. You're not going to get yellow on here or anything. Don't even think about it. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, I'm not getting my hopes up for Pokemon. Well, that's interesting, though. I'm about to say, I am going to make hopes up for Minish Cap. Are being added to Nintendo Switch I mean, yeah. Plus expansion pack. I mean, I'm looking for... Okay, okay, so maybe we will get more Metroids. Yes. Give me give me Zero Mission and Fusion. Super Mario and we'll be good. Advance 4. Super Mario Brothers 3. Play 38 extra levels from the Nintendo e-reader accessory. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. WarioWare Inc. Mini Game Mania. <laughs> experience Cute. the origins of the lightning fast micro games. Original Rhythm Heaven? Kudu, kudu, kudurin. Guide the spinning stick to oh, the Oh, it's the thing from Smash obstacles. Brothers. Yeah, take that, Americans. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Race <laughs> in the first Mario Kart game created for a portable console. And it's not very good. Mario and Luigi <gasps> Super Oh, that's Star cool! Saga. Venture through a zany world and fight with equally zany attacks. That's really neat. The Legend of Zelda, the I'm sorry. This, I'm, I'm sorry, we have to remove Gino though. Into a big <laughs> this is my first Zelda game. Oh my god, I just, Local I just fucking realized, like, I like how. And up to four players can play together. Now officially on the Switch, uh, you can play a game that has a, uh, uh, fucking games will be amazing mirror fusion, fusion well. fire, fire emblem. One. Golden Gold Sun, Sun. F Zero. After this presentation, you can play these on, Game Boy titles mission. with the Nintendo Switch Online membership. Oh, nice. Or play both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion, expansion Pack, pack Bowling! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Well, I guess that's how I'm going to be doing my playthrough of uh, Eli Wood's game, because I wanted to play through yeah. it again. I finally played through uh, Hector. Yes. Shortly after. Not immediately okay. after, just shortly. Okay, cool. I wasn't really expecting much from that, like, in the immediate future, so that's cool. God, we're still going? Uh, the original Prime Metroid Prime. Oh! oh! Nintendo Switch. Wait, remastered? Oh, snap! Oh. Dude, that looks awesome! Dude! Oh my fucking god, that look. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That looks sexy. Oh. <laughs> that looks fucking sexy. Oh Holy my shit. god. No, this is. Oh. That looks Look so good. Look at that! Oh, the scanning is so smooth. <sighs> well, now you're gonna make me play Prime again. Yeah, yeah definitely. Is that Iron Ted? Uh, no, that's not Iron Ted. It's not Iron Ted. Iron Ted is specifically the one in the uh, uh, Zero Mission. Ah. The first Metroid Prime, Metroid originally released on Nintendo GameCube, has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. That looks fucking awesome. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective of Samus Aran. Its game but looks beware, amazing. There's more to this alien planet than meets oh the eye. Oh my god, look at that. Visors are the key to Because, like, adventure. Metroid Prime They'll already always looked good. Yes. Progress. Like, even, like, I know it's a GameCube game, and obviously, like, it kind of has stuff that shows Depending its age. On the situation, but, like, it still looks really required. good. Yeah, no, it's, it's aged really, really well, but, oh my god, look at that. Feature, then fight back oh. with beams, missiles. Bombs and more. This remaster adds new dual stick controls, allowing you to move around while separately changing your point of view. You can also select a control style that recreates the feel of the original game, among other control options. Explore Talon 4 with your preferred play style. I wonder if they have the version of Metroid Prime remastered. Which was added in the uh shortly after <gasps> No way! Well physical version will launch. Well I know what we're doing this weekend. Shit, I got Saturday what? off. What are you what are you talking about this weekend? He said shortly after this presentation. Yeah, you're right. Dude, fuck on the work. <laughs> Fuck, I'll stay up for like detective. five hours and, and play Shinigami, 30 entirety Metroid the Prime. Spirit I'll do it. Him, will solve the strange incidents within Kanai Ward, a city ruthlessly controlled by Amaterasu Corporation. You'll investigate these incidents alongside master detectives of the organization. Each one has a supernatural ability that can prove useful during investigations. Mimic body types. Hey, does this voices. remind you of any of these? <laughs> Detect heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. And even, witness even this uh even this music kind of sounds like <laughs> these abilities can be shared with you. So this is postcognition. So use them to get closer to cracking a case. After collecting this is, this is, evidence, this is cool, by the way. I like this game. I'm sorry, I'm just not over. I'm not over, uh... Prime, I'm sorry. Spot the inconsistency. Prime Remastered, because, like, I was just expecting, like, you know, them porting... Master Trilogy? June 30th, okay, we're getting that game, Launch definitely. Yeah, we're getting Switch. I just read it as REM code. <laughs> Wings of the Heart take flight once more. A remastered collection of both Batten Kaidos games, originally released on Nintendo oh, cool. GameCube, is coming to Nintendo Switch. I think that's the second one of those. Peaceful was only era in Japan? on the floating islands above Earth, the Empire's so conspiracy cool. looms closer. That's kind of one of those games I always see floating around in RPG circles as being like a really good to the Empire game or like you know being mentioned. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. During your travels, you'll visit various locales and team up with like-minded allies. 
battles are fought using cards. I like how I'm like so excited over a game that I've played a million times. Your attack Dude, powers determine that I'm just that sitting game, here. That game looks so cards, fucking good. It looks so gorgeous. I can't get over that. I'm just sitting here and I'm like, man, I really want to play this game that I've played like. You'll need to make I really want to play much more flying. I could fucking play it in my sleep. That's how much I've played the fucking game. Revelations will come to light in the skies above and the lands below. Available shortly after Thought this presentation. Imagine HD remaster the, the <laughs> source onto Nintendo Switch. <laughs> like how how fucking like badass do you have to be for that? Yeah. Dive into your new fantasy life. Oh, they porning fantasy life. I'm assuming that's what that is. Literally. <gasps> oh my god! In a new fantasy life game. It's a new fantasy life that's game. Cool. Exploring the once the girl who steals time. Well, can she not? A mysterious girl. <laughs> can you not? Just like that, I guess. Between past and present to make the island your own. <laughs> that Wonder if this game will let me put rugs outside. That seems a bit overly dramatic. The robot like doing this whole paladin. I love I love Fantasy Life so much. It's I such never, a good fucking game. I never game. played it. It's such a good game. It's, it's, see, the funniest thing about 3DS games is that there was a time where I like I had money, so I got a bunch of 3DS games, and I never played any of them. It's so cute. After one thousand years, the restoration is about to begin. Fantasy Life I: The Girl Who Steals Time. Also, also here I am being like, oh, this is the last time we're gonna see Metroid in this presentation. Oh yeah, no, yeah, 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 look, yeah. And then they fucking slap yeah. me in the face with fucking, uh, oh, uh, <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. We have a friend that's super into Professor Layton. No, but this is actually kind of major because like. I know, but it's been forever. I know, I know, it's been forever. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Oh, but like, didn't the studio go on? Yeah, there? like no. Yeah. Level five has Ooh, not made games. It. Like I noticed it earlier a couple times, but they have not made a single game outside of. Uh, Yoshi's um, Island. Outside of Japan, like in years at this point. You know that's fucking incredible. Like holy shit. So I guess shit. they're just suddenly back, and they're just bringing their A game with like three different titles. Good for them. Good for them. Another course of who originally hit the track and Oh, new character. Oh. Oh, okay. Trans rights. Trans rights. <laughs> Of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Plus one character. Deluxe you will buy Birdo and you will Switch like it. This spring, this DLC can be purchased on its own. While active Nintendo Plus Switch one character. Okay, well, can we get fucking uh, DLC at no additional Can we get cost. fucking Funky Kong and Petey Piranha back then while we're at it? Oh, is this obligatory uh, other games showcase? Oh, that's um Mega Man X. No, uh, no, that's uh, Battle Network. Oh, Battle Network, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I think that has, like, a collection of, like, all of those games. Of which there's, like, eight, I think. Yes, there's a ton of them. See, that's my favorite thing about the Mega Man series, is that, like, it has, like, five different sub-series. All of them have, like, a million different games. Except yeah. Legends, because it has, like, two. It's, like, ten games. Jack in. I forgot that that was the uh, terminology. Yes. They can't stop those teenagers from jacking them. <laughs> okay, that, I'm so, that's my one joke I'm gonna make about that. Shortly after this presentation. Disney Dreamlight Valley. This is a game that exists. I have a friend that's really into it. Something something Simba lights on fire. <laughs> Simba. Oh yeah, this is a funny remaster. It's coming in like two days. God. Zelda, of course. You're ending with the yeah. Psych, it's actually Prime 4. That's gonna be Zelda. It's gonna be Zelda. Yeah, that's. Zelda. Is this Zelda, yeah. 
There's no fucking way they weren't gonna end on Zelda. Zelda? Zelda? The floor is under my feet. I know. I know. I mean, that's fine. I, 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 I got what I... I didn't even come for, but I got it anyways. Yes. Rise. Rise, my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate Hyrule. this kingdom and her allies. Leave Hyrule. <laughs> Uh, since the direct is over, I can now say that apparently I had heard through the grapevine that somebody had said that there was going to be a uh, port slash new game in the no not Dark Souls um uh what's the game that the guy that didn't get gold not Golden Sun there's there's a series that ha that ended on a cliffhanger and apparently there was going to be a new game plus a port on the switch and of course that didn't happen Link, and I wasn't expecting that to happen. I'm not sure you'll be able to stop him. I love how my favorite thing about Breath of the Wild and like this game is that every time like every time that I'm, I'm oh, playing these games like no, every time that I'm playing these games, like, I always forget that everybody's British and then they start talking and I'm like, ah! Oh, ah! Oh yeah, that's a thing. Is that a car? Okay. I mean, Skyward Sword also had a lot of the, like, the backwards song. Well, I can't wait for an hour-long, like, theory Please. video about it. Your power. I mean, are we usually any different? <laughs> no. Happy birthday to me. I'm getting fucking old. No, you're not. I'm getting 28. It's not old. I feel old. Series for a second, it sounds like he said Jesus. <laughs> we never get any of that stuff. No. That's cool. yeah. I never got any of the ones for the Cool. That was fucking awesome. All right, let's go get. Let's go play fucking. Let's go play Metro, Metro Prime, Prime, dude. Let's go play Metro Prime, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I'm. Oh. <laughs> I know what we're doing tomorrow. I mean, I mean that that's that is. What did I think of this Nintendo Direct? Well, I thought <laughs> that was. <laughs> 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 That was fucking awesome. No, that was good. That was awesome. I have uh, I have very little notes. Um, see, I went into this one not really expecting anything, and I got something out of it. So like, that's nice. That's two thumbs up. I was right expected there. to be bored, not bored, but you know, be like, oh, it looks nice, oh, it looks fun, oh, whatever. It oh, had, yeah, the game's had, coming out. It had like that was an hour long. It wasn't one of those ones where it's like. Here's like 15 million JRPGs back to back. Yeah, and they like all the kind of have was. the same vibe, and they kind of all waste your time because they get over explained because they're yeah, like kind of that's, fighting that's, for time. See, that's the thing is that, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with them, but like. They're all kind of the same. Eventually... I say this as a JRPG fan, I know they're not all the same, but if you're trying to make a trailer, you need to be general, and they no. all come off being the see, same. See, they, they kind of run together too much. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, because like, like, if you told me, like, hey, name, name one from the last time, I'll be like, I don't, I don't know. fucking know. You know, and I'm the person that would know. I will may I will I will drop two random words, and there's a good chance I might be on something. <laughs> no, uh, I'm I'm being on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. I was like, Kirby DLC was cool. I like the G the Game Boy games. Oh, I'm, really I'm really excited for Splatoon. I'm really excited for Splatoon. Uh, the, the Bayonetta game cool. The, DS game they were remaking. Uh, Phantom cool. Trick? I think so. Ghost Trick? Phantom Trick? Ghost Trick? Yeah. Pikmin 4 is cool. Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4 is cool. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I think that's mostly all I wanted to say. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this game looks so good. <sighs> I want to fuck this game. 
It's too bad they don't make them on uh, discs anymore, because that makes them significantly <laughs> harder to fuck. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. The only way this could possibly have been any better is if they also did this for uh, Prime 2. Yes. Because that one's my favorite. But they also should do it for Prime 3 then, because that's my favorite. Which is your favorite, yeah. Prime 3 is a fucking baller honestly, game. It's honestly, awesome. Honestly, like, I don't know, like, how much how much work this took, but honestly, if they are just, like, if they're just remaking all three of these games, just, like, one by one, and then releasing oh my God. them in the interim I'll, I'll shit. until I will Prime shit. 4... I'll shit bricks. I'll go nuts I think, if they I do think this they'll for make three. like like a ton of money and like uh and also people will just like not really complain too much about four. Like this'll this will be a good thing to like bide their time with. I'm not gonna expect like, you know, remasters of all the games, but that would be fucking sick. That'd be so fucking sick. Also, um Uh I might just get both. I don't know what the physical version's gonna have. Yeah. Or what, like... It's I mean, but be, I want but... them to keep making Metroid games. Yes. <laughs> we will buy Metroid Prime Remastered twice. Because we... They I mean, need I to buy know. the Wii U uh, Metroid collection, I want to say twice. Yeah. Because I lost my first disc and then I found it again. Or it didn't work or something. I had to buy a second disc. So I, I've bought it twice. But you had it on disc? I had it on disc, yeah. Oh, yeah, I always forget about that. I don't know. This. No, because I got it through the uh, virtual... I never had the trilogy version. I have the trilogy version. I think I had... Again, I think I had to buy I it twice. I have the GameCube versions. Yes. But, no, that is... That is so fucking... I... Oh. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, my God. That just looks incredible. This game looks so good. I don't know how, like, because, you know, you see, like, remasters, and you're like, oh, you know, whatever. This is a remaster. Yes. Like, that's updated models. That's not just like, oh, we that turned up the so contrast cool. a little bit, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, like, no, this looks this looks really good. Like, this was, like, re like maybe not, like, completely remade, necessarily, but, like, they stuck new shit into, like, yeah, the they, old... Yeah, they did, like, new new models. Yeah, new everything. models, new textures, new, new, yeah. Everything looks so smooth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And again, this game already looked good. It oh, yeah, no, it already, yeah, it has, it has really aged well, honestly. See, honestly, like, normally this is where we break down all, all the other parts, but, like, this Prime. is what I, this is what I'm obsessed with. Prime. This is what I'm obsessed with, and again, um, you, you're, you're getting off easy tonight because it's nearly midnight and we shouldn't be starting anything. Oh, yeah, no, if this were, like, at, like, but 8 tomorrow or 9 o'clock, yeah. Oh, tomorrow, no, tomorrow night, night Prime. you're done. Tomorrow night's Prime. We are playing Metro Prime. You don't even understand, so... Yeah, I guess uh, we'll just wrap up here. So, do you have anything you want to add or? No. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, we will see everybody tomorrow because we're gonna play fucking Metro Prime Remastered. Hell yeah! Yes, hell yeah! I guess I guess engage and the after game. Oh, engage can wait. Scarlet and Violet are gonna have to wait They're because they Metro wait. Prime is happening. Because Metro Prime's yeah. an exceptionally long game. No. Again, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't even being like sarcastic. Sarcastic when I said like if I like, sitting. if I just like, if I said like, oh, if I have like, if you give me like five hours, I can beat this game. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't even being sarcastic there. That's just true. So, again, that game also looks good, but but my prime looks so good. This oh. game needs to do well, you guys. This game needs to do well. Go get this game. Go yeah, get because it. I go want... get it. I want I want this for for Prime Two, and I need this for Prime Three. So you gotta buy Prime Two also. <laughs> so everybody buy this game, because <clears throat> this shit's good. I hope they don't pull a Silent Hill collection and they redub Three, because like the fact that the dub sucks is like the point of why it's so good. Well, not the dub sucks, but I just don't want them to, to it's, redo. It's it's charmingly. Yeah, charmingly no, because a big controversy of, of um of on the Silent Hill collection is that you couldn't un redub. I want to say two, uh -huh. for some fucking reason, you couldn't have the original voices, and ever everybody disliked that. 
And soon everyone will be corrupted, including you! Oh, like, if that gets redubbed, my heart will be broken. Yeah. I mean, see, because I feel like they, they could do that. It's not like with Star Fox 64, where, like, the file, the, like, sound effects they have on file are so crunchy they can't use them, even yeah. though there was that the person who released, like, the HD versions of those sound Like, effects. uncrunched, yeah. Yeah, uncrunched. God, they sound so weird uncrunched. But no, if they do remaster 3, that is my one stipulation, is that they don't redub it, or if they do... I don't think, I don't they, think they, do, they will, because, again, no. like... The other example is, like, Star Fox 64 they did, but they only did that because they basically had to, because it was, like, too crunchy. Yeah. But, like... No, I wouldn't want I them to do that, because typically, that for... typically that doesn't really... Okay. But, uh... I think we're going to wrap up here. So like I said, thanks yes. everybody for watching. We will see you tomorrow for Prime Remastered. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.